Hey guys, it's me again, Latix, the guy who's gonna watch My Uncle Pony for you to enjoy watching me watching that. <laughs> Before this video starts, I wanna give a huge shout out to the Fluffy Vixen. Please, for the love of God, check it out. She's another reactor, she does funny videos. I mean, what else can you really need? You need that, you need to watch that. Go to the channel, subscribe, watch her content. She does amazing stuff. She also does amazing drawings. So check out her Twitter and uh, look at all the pictures that she's posting. It's it's amazing. It's just, she uh, she makes just beautiful drawings. Tell her that she makes beautiful drawings, please. I can tell her as much as I want, but she won't listen to me. So just please tell her, for the love of God. And yeah, today we're gonna be watching episode 16, A Trivial Pursuit. And that is a reference probably, I don't know if it's actually a uh, reference to that board game, Trivial Pursuit which is a very difficult questions game for adults that apparently should have the entire history of the world mapped into their brains, which most of us just don't have. So uh, that's a game for the very specific kind of person. A uh, quick shout out to my patrons. I want to thank you all so much for making the wall bigger. And if you guys want to become a patron yourself, check out the links down in the description. It will take you to my Patreon page and you can check out the different tiers, what they do, uh, what benefits you get. And uh, you can ask me personally on message through Patreon or just send a link a comment on YouTube asking me what picture you want up on the wall. I can literally print out anything as long as it's an image you find online. It doesn't have to be PNG. Um, it's just It just has to be an image of a character. Any character from anything you want. It doesn't have to be MLP. So uh, if you're interested in that and if you're interested in supporting me in a way that really reaches um, to the maximum amount of support. Thank you in advance. I really appreciate what you guys have already done. We've almost filled up the board. Like, I wouldn't say almost, but it's it's getting there. It's, it's, it's coming along swimmingly. But yes, let's start a trivial pursuit. Boom. Hello, Spike. Okay, Spike. You know, you might get distracted by the stacks of books and copious charts, so remember what to say. Twilight, I know you're in full prep mode for Trivia Trot tomorrow, trivia trot. but you need to get some sleep. Huh, huh nice work. You got this. <gasps> this typical Twilight not getting her sleep. Twilight, Hello. What are you doing? Great question, Spike. And oh, the boy. Is Taking this. Brings the eight hours of sleep to perform at optimum levels. <laughs> oh, cool. I thought I'd have to force you to go to bed since tomorrow is your chance to be the first pony to win Ponyville trivia three times in a row. <laughs> that is tomorrow. The first chance. The answer is yes. Ask oh my another god. Question. Another what? Another question. I want to stay in the zone. That way I can sleep in the zone, wake up in the zone, and be totally in the zone tomorrow. <laughs> I would kill it. I would kick her in the face uh, if she carried around that bell in front of my face. Twilighting, isn't it? The answer is. <laughs> Are you okay? The answer is yes! Well, good night, Twilight. Good luck with your brain sleep and getting that. That's not started. a question. <laughs> the answer is good night! <laughs> and yes! Ah, oh, she's so adorable. That wasn't a question. That wasn't a question, exactly. That's what I said. My little pony, my little pony. <sighs> What are you doing sitting there? Go subscribe to Fluffy Vixen. She's waiting for you. What are you doing? Why are you still here? I can do this too, you know, just looking at you. What do you say? Should we turn this around? Should I start looking at you? Instead of you looking at me? This face? I'm gonna watch you this time around. <laughs> gotcha. You thought I was gonna do that, I didn't you? Come watch your first trivia trot, Spike. I hope the rules aren't too confusing. Rules? Isn't trivia just asking questions and answering them? <laughs> the <sighs> is a little more involved than that. Let's start with the first category of rules. Thank God she wasn't gonna do that bell thing the whole episode. Each category must be categorically designated and thoroughly researched in all categorical. That's a fucking trivia. And that wraps up rule forty one point six. Of course, the exception to that, 41.6a, is interesting itself because... <sighs> look, we're here! <laughs> oh, joy. Ooh, I can't wait to see who my partner's gonna be! You don't get to pick your own team? Rule 20.16b, Spike. P, Spike! 20.16b. How could I forget? 
And based on the regular attendees, I've charted every potential teammate's strengths and weaknesses, plus my percentage okay. of winning with each one. Ha! I knew there'd be a chart. Glad I'm just watching. I don't think I could handle being your teammate. What if I let you down? <laughs> you can never let me down, Spike. But I'm glad you're watching too. Oh, huh. I'm gonna need all the support I can get. Thankfully, she didn't say the other thing about him actually couldn't letting her down. English. Well, well, well. If it ain't our reigning champ, think you can win again this week, Twilight? Every pony here has a different area oh, of expertise. Oh, weak. So it really is any pony's game. But yes. <laughs> then you better hope you get paired with me because I am gonna rule this game. So Rainbow's into this too, huh? Hey, Sunburst. Oh, the nerds are gathering. I hope you realize not every category is gonna be spells so old not even Star's World of Bearded remembers them. I hope there's one on fur maintenance for adorable creatures because I've been... Oh, the cocky. Get that shit away from me, you filth. It won't be in the game. Okay, where's Trixie? She's on Discord for that matter. But I think Fluttershy was joking. Sure sounded like a joke to me! Hey. Pinkie Pie! Present! What? I don't get it. And now she's gonna get her, isn't she? Do I have to do that thing where I list all your successes as princess of friendship to put things into perspective and remind you this is just a game? Spike! This has nothing to do with being the princess of friendship! Spike has just started out as the voice of reason and then he ended as the voice of reason. Oh my god. Calm down with the weird faces. Brother. Why is Book Bicep Snowflake ass there? I love how they're keeping true to Twilight's nerdiness, freak outness, even to this day. Oh, God. What I miss? Granny's about to call out the fifth team. Sunburst gave me the highest chance of winning, but he's been paired with Cranky Doodle. Oh. Yes, <laughs> Rainbow Dash and Applejack aren't together. Team Apple Dash is basically unstoppable. Apple Dash. <laughs> and a park will spend all their energy. Oh, the fans is gonna go wild for that one. Let's do this! Yeah! Eh, not every team is a threat, but there aren't many ponies left. <laughs> Calling him stupid, pretty much. Rigged. Spot and Mudbriar have been paired together every week. It's a statistical improbability, which would be fine if they weren't so good. It's totally rigged. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh, according to my calculations, the only pony who could really threaten my winning streak is... And our final pair of contestants for this week... Yeah, I saw this coming. Who wouldn't? I mean, she's not exactly calling Pinkie Pie dumb. She just isn't ready for what she might say. But then again, isn't that what she's saying, pretty much? That she's dumb? <laughs> Sit right with me. It's gonna turn out that Pinkie is actually really smart. Oh, she's cute, though. Twinkie? <laughs> This is the shipping feed. I could be the first pony ever to win three consecutive trots in a row. And I'm really hoping I do. You don't mm -hmm. have anything to worry about. I'll do everything I can to be the bestest and most funnest teammate ever. <laughs> Sequence. So, still think you can win? I know I can. Pinky might not be the partner I expected, but I can coach her along. And besides, I'm pretty good at this game. 
If she misses a few, I'm sure I can pick up the slack. Let's get this party started! For a second, I thought that was a boat. Oh, look there, at Mrs. Pie. Miss K came in. Being adorable. To keep I'll do it! <laughs> I'm not sure you want to take that job, Spike. The scorekeeping could get a mite intense. Yeah, Starlight used to do it, but now... Well, I can't even say the word trivia around her. What? Apple bash! Don't let them scare you! Apple bash! Now, Where is Starlight? <laughs> hey, don't copy me. The first category is literary figures. Oh, my favorite. A category about books. We're off to a great start. Oh, <laughs> she was left hanging. Well, I know that. Oh, brother. Well, as much as that ain't exactly wrong, it it's Snowfall it Frost, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I love that episode. Just doing my job, Twilight. Uh, sorry, I didn't know we could have negative points. It's fine, Pinky, but maybe it'll help our chances if I coach you as we go. Tip one, try sitting still. I can do coach Twilight. And don't get distracted, or be distracting. Oh, and remember to listen carefully. Also, it's best to keep quiet between questions. Got it. Oh, this is not fun. Sitting still, sitting still, sitting Which still. Which topographical locale used to be a cavern? But after thousands of years of erosion, is now a gorge. Pinky, what? The answer is... The ghastly gold. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. That is 100% correct! <laughs> Next category is apples! Hey! <laughs> I didn't hear you complain when the category was Wonderbolt history. But yeah, that's, that's totally different! Okay, Pinky, remember the category is apples. Keep your mind on apples. Apples, 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 apples. Ooh, and oranges, and grapes, and strawberries. Oh, strawberry cupcakes! I'm hungry. Which variety of apples? Oh, my God. Apples <laughs> oh, so distraught. Don't choke. Now, why would I choke <laughs> on a question about apples? <laughs> uh, what was the question again? You kidding me? <laughs> Come on, oh, I love their banter when they're not assholes. Apples, only around for five days. Um, I'm just guessing, but is it zap apples? Finally! Yes, Fluttershy, it is. Or at least some pony here knows they're apples. <laughs> the shame. Let's press Y for shame, everybody. Oh my god. <laughs> One minute left in the refreshment slash bathroom break. Oh, Spike! I don't think I can coach Pinky well enough for us to get my three feet. Is this lesson zero? Number two. No more belly growl interruptions for Team Twilight. Gump. The plate? Instead of focusing on Pinky, you should just focus on how you're playing. Or I should look at how every pony else is playing. Uh, you're all in your seats, cause the it's not about winning. Open. I thought you learned this in You Don't Have to Win episode. I forgot what it's called. How do you say reward in old pony -ish? Huh? Well, she knew that, probably. What? Sunburst's partner is 
sleeping. And according to Rule 57.6, sleeping at the table is subject to a disqualification. Wow. <laughs> well, look here. That's an actual rule. Cranky is disqualified. I'm sorry, Sunburst. Without your teammates, you can't play neither. Oh, fine. But I'm counting that as a correct answer. <laughs> Don't worry, Pinky. We're not out of this game. Yet. Cranky needs someone to like help him. <laughs> Shouldn't be asleep even though you're old. Like just on the ring on the whim. Oh boy, Twilight. It's gonna raid the competition. Poor Pinky. Cupcakes. Twilight, I know all about those. You have to let me help. <laughs> sure. Just when we're finally back in the game. <laughs> Why that sounds perfect, Pinky. God. Ooh, isn't that a confetti appreciation parade I see? Where? What? Yeah, this. <laughs> Okay. Hey, I knew that. I made those cupcakes. Sorry, Pinky, but you were looking at the parade, and I didn't want our team to miss out on the point. Yes, that makes sense. But what kind of that confetti parade? I'm so I awkward right now. I'm like trying to say that I didn't miss Twilight being like this, but it's also kind of fun to see it again. Oh. I feel so bad for Pinky. The category is sticks and stones. <laughs> I get it. Not any kind of category. Technically, it's a kind of category where we know the answers and you don't. <laughs> okay, so you basically saying that it's rigged. I'm sure I know some of these. Hey, you're half. Flint. The black one. The answer is Flint. Yeah, that one. We both get points, right? Sorry, Pinky. Rule four: answers must be specific and exact. I'd help you if I could. I know this category pretty well. Yeah. Gee, Pinky, I forgot the name of that famous rock in Griffinstone. Could you ask Maud? You got it. Hey, Maud, what's the name of the famous rock in Griffinstone? Pinky. You can't ask me that. Well, sure I can. I just did. She's trying to get Ma disqualified. <laughs> you can't go and ask another player about rocks when that's the category. It's in the rule book. Uh, sorry, Pinky, but you're disqualified. What? <laughs> How are you surprised? Pinky, I guess I forgot about that rule. Oh, no. oh, you didn't. I'm out. You don't have a partner. You won't be able to get your third win. Actually, since there's another player who has also had his teammate disqualified. Rule 19.7b, whereby players whose teammates were disqualified may form a new team. Oh, okay. Um, I'll just cheer you on from over there. Oh, my God. Oh, she's so adorable, and I feel so bad. Legends. Oh, we're gonna crush this round. Yeah, I don't know, Twilight. You seem out of the zone today, but don't worry. I don't worry. Trot champ. If there's any slack that needs picking, I'll be the up. I mean, wait. I'm just saying, you seem a little frazzled, and I do have a correct answer percentage to maintain. You kidding me? 
travel to Equestria from a distant land seeking to steal the magic from its pony and habit. Your mom. Tyrek. Technically, that answer is incomplete. The answer is Lord Tyrek Scorpan. and Scorpan. But Scorpan tried to convince Tyrek not to do it, so technically he wasn't part of it. Even if it's well, he was it. in the beginning. Never mind. <laughs> well, you got me fooled on that answer, too. I had to think for a second before getting it. Please give me the perfect number of 69. How many holes are there in Daring Do's hatch? What the f 20! Correct! Of course she would do that. Twilight? I knew that one! You just cost us a point and the correct answer I needed to boost my percentage! Well, I knew it too! You're not the only pony to ever read a book, you know. <laughs> right, Twilight. I'm sorry, but now that I think about it, I'm not so sure about Dash's answer. Could you do a quick fact check? Oh, I know it's 20, but if you want proof, wait. According to oh. 18.3, I can't check outside reference material. <gasps> Are you trying to get me disqualified? Is he? What kind of pony would do that to their own teammate? You're right, Twilight. I don't know what got into me. I was so focused on my correct answers, I wasn't thinking straight. Can you forgive me? It's okay, Sunburst. I understand. And now you have to forgive her. So teammate of my own to apologize to. A little I bit. You, awake, and according to Rule 57.6b, players previously disqualified for sleeping may rejoin the game, provided they're well rested. Yeah, man, where am I? What a am I complicated. Day? Pinky. What a complicated the setting. I could ask for, but I let wanting to win keep me from seeing that. I knew you wanted to win, but I probably could have helped a little. And even if I couldn't, probably we still could have had fun. I'm so sorry for not realizing it. I got so obsessed with one thing, I forgot what really mattered. No, that doesn't sound like you at all. Well, win or lose. Nothing is more important than my friends or, miss. or my team. Twi Pie forever? I don't know. Oh, Twi Pie. I, I would like that. I guess even the Princess of Friendship can mess things up with her friends. Oh, it's not that. It's just that I already changed it to Team Twi first. Now I guess I should change it to Sun Doodle? Actually, <laughs> I have a better idea. Sun Doodle. According to Rule 13.2, players can join the game at any time. Provided they start from zero. Wow, these rules are really convoluted. Yeah. Doesn't starting from zero mean we'll lose? Sounds like they're just yeah, making up as they go. Good, but the odds of having I'm pretty a sure they do. Are 100%. What is this ah, flies. Of the Ponyville Day Spa's most popular candle. Competitive Can library that? musk. Uh, no. No. <laughs> what is Derpy doing? <laughs> she wanted to join, but she's too stupid to know, to know the answers, apparently. Oh my god. It's awful. Well, that was an episode. Once again, I feel like they wasted the space for uh, something a bit more fun. But, you know, whatever suits you. If you want to do that, that's fine. It was a nice episode. Um, it made me feel a little bit uncomfortable at some points. Uh, but it's just because I feel so bad for Twinkie. Pinky. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna go to sleep because I'm feeling a bit off. So uh, I will see you all tom tomorrow, probably. Whenever this gets uploaded. Goodbye, thank you for watching.